Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going over another Sky Factory 4 tutorial and this one is on how to make, well, this unbreakable pickaxe because it is an achievement. And who doesn't want an unbreakable pickaxe, right? Alright, it doesn't look like the most beautiful thing in the world, but guess what? It is totally unbreakable. You can break obsidian with it and of course it's not the fastest because the materials it's made out of but it will break it uh, there we go so obsidian you can see the check mark to show it is harvestable for cobalt and ardite so it does break everything so don't worry about that but since it's an achievement Let's get started on how we do this. So first of all, for the tool parts, for the t tool rod pattern, we're going to use paper. So we're going to use paper for that, and we're also going to use paper for the binding. Now we're going to make a paper pickaxe head, but we're not going to use that to make the tool. We're just going to keep that to the side. For the tool head, we're going to head over to our smeltery. I already put some in, but we're going to use obsidian. Make sure it's not the molten, because, you know... I accidentally switched it earlier. I had stuff in there and it combined. You know how it is. All right, so you want regular obsidian, switch to that in the smeltery, and pour it out into your pickaxe head. And so that is gonna be the handle, the uh, pickaxe head part that we're gonna use, as you can see here. And so now that we have our pickaxe head, we're gonna go back over here. And I probably should have, okay, we gotta take these off first. And uh, this is for later. I wasn't thinking about it. All right, so we are simply gonna make our pickaxe. So the paper one, don't accidentally grab that like I did. All right, so put everything in, make sure you use the obsidian headpiece. All right, now you're gonna see we have four modifiers. We need more than four modifiers to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create these crystals and combine it with gold and a paper pickaxe head because it's going to emboss it with the traits. So that's what we're doing here. We're embossing it with the traits. And so then when we do that, it gives us five modifiers. Okay, so let's see. Now, how do we make the crystals, right? And how do we make, well, the other thing we're gonna do. First of all, the crystals. So you're gonna need congealed slime blocks. Uh, we're gonna need uh, green, and this is how you make it, the four together, four slime balls makes the green. Also the blue, four together makes the congealed slime. So you're gonna take congealed slime, dirt, and sand, and each one makes a, in this case, a green slimy mud, mud. Now for the blue one, it makes blue slimy mud. Sounds right. But we also need the orange one, which takes slime balls, which is in a different pattern. You'll only need one, but I just shift clicked at everything in here. But you need two of the slime balls, two of the magma creams, one soul sand, and one netherrack, and that'll make you a slimy magma mud. Now, then you cook these. So the green turns into the green crystal, the blue into the blue crystal and the uh, slimy magma into the magma slime crystals. Now, to do this, you need one of these, but I like to make multiples because you can do this method for multiple tools. And I know it's not for here specific, but I do have a tutorial, a regular tutorial on tinkers on unbreakable tools. So if you want to know how to make different ones other than the pickaxe, check that out. All right, so we put this down here to make this writable, which gives us a total of five modifiers, which is what we need. Now, once we take that out, then we're going to need five reinforcement plates which is why we need five modifiers. To make those, you're gonna take any blank cast, or if you make extras, to make the blank cast, you take um, gold in the smeltery and you pour it out without anything here. That would make a blank cast. Or if you accidentally made an extra one of something or found one or whatever, then you can use that too. So it doesn't have to be a blank cast in the middle, it just has to be a cast. But then you surround it with obsidian and it'll make you one reinforced plate. For each tool, you will need five of these. Now, you can either put them in like this, put your tool here, 
and it'll add a reinforcement each time. Or what I like to do, just because I think it looks cool, is surround it on the sides. It'll still only do one at a time, but I think it looks a little bit more fun. But you'll see re reinforce 20, and then as we put it in, 40, 60, 80, and finally 100, and it'll say reinforced unbreakable. And there you have it, an unbreakable pick, and I already showed you how good it is. And look, on regular stuff, it works pretty fast. You know, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, and you can't um, add extra to it, but it is a very good pickaxe. I don't know why I'm worried about putting those back, but there we go. All right, if you have any questions or comments, because I know this was a little bit of a short, fast tutorial, but since it is an achievement, I thought I would do one specifically for Sky Factory 4. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also, if you have anything that you would like to see a tutorial on or a mod spotlight, let me know that too. All right, that's it. Oh, and if you haven't already, might want to hit that subscribe button. Because, like I said, I have lots of tutorials and spotlights planned, and so you don't want to miss those. So until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye!